Would Alan Rickson make a great Batman? That is the question. So this is an article from Comic Book Resources. And let's dive into Alan Rickson's oiled up chest. Hashtag no pause. At 41 years of age, Rickson has the look and feel of Batman. On a visual level, he gives the impression he is in his late 30s. The physique intimidation and height can all combine to create batman's imposing presence if anything prime videos reacher season two is proof rickson can be this huge rugged hero in bruce's case he can easily go from a handsome rich playboy to an angry vigilante of the night this was also seen in fast x where rickson turned in a great account of himself he portrayed the suave agent ames the leader of the agency who hunted but later partnered with dominic Toretto's team. He was actually pretty good in that movie. In the end, Amos flipped on the heroes, confirming he was working for the evil Dante, played by Jason Momoa. It's funny that you had two Aquamans in that movie. In that movie, he showed he had a ruthless, cutthroat edge, which is what an older, grizzled, and cynical Batman displays at times with the Justice League. Rickson also played Raphael in Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was a shit movie, coming off as one of the uh, coming off as it's more redeeming qualities. Yeah, he was good at that. Like, Rickson, he's good in everything, bro. Even if it's a bad movie, he'll be good in it. Rickson has already shown he can handle roles that require duality, whether it's an uh, altruistic leader or as a hardened soldier of war. These roles make Rickson a perfect fit for the Batman, and I would concur. A major positive is that Rickson brings less pressure to the role. Once that spotlight is on, it can be a tough to acclimate to such a popular character, especially with high amounts of media attention. When a big star is in the limelight, things often go off kilter. Ben Affleck had a lot of eyes on him as well as major expectations. Jared Leto as the Joker also brought intense attention. This can lead to even more scathing criticisms than usual. But when people don't expect much or when the public doubts what's to come, like casting Heath Ledger as the Joker and Robert Pattinson as Mary's Batman, actors can flourish. Well, I'm old enough to remember people were shitting all over Heath Ledger cast as Joker. People thought Heath Ledger was going to be the worst Joker of all time. And it turns out he is the best Joker of all time. Um, Robert Panson, like he got some criticism, but not as harsh as Ben Affleck. Like, like Robert Panson, he was like, eh, OK, we'll see. And it turns out Robert Panson was a very good Batman. Notably, Gunn isn't always into big Hollywood names. This was first noted when he cast Chris Pratt to play Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy. Pratt was known for parks and, re and recreation, but he didn't have any big leading roles in movies. In Moneyball and Wanted, he was nothing more than a supporting cast. This left fans cynical and dismissive about whether a TV comedian can transition into Marvel Cinematic Universe's Peter Quill. However, Gunn harnessed the right energy as most of the audience ignored him and became pessimistic. Very true, and Chris Pratt was awesome as uh, Star-Lord. Uh, another example to look at Reacher after Tom Cruise's depiction, fans didn't really take note thinking the show would turn into another dead franchise, but Rickson has resuscitated the character of Jack Reacher and left viewers impressed by how well-rounded he is. It speaks to how Rickson takes low-pressure situations and owns his roles. A few years ago, Rickson as the new Batman might have been seen as a gamble and far-fetched. In 2024, it's a casting that could all make Gunn and Brave and the Bold's director Andy Mushishishishisha look like a couple of geniuses as they polish and suit up an underestimated gem like alan rickson interesting so what do you guys think me personally like i said alan rickson not necessarily my number one choice of all time but uh this article really makes a compelling case for alan rickson to be the next dcu batman i mean he's a good actor um he, he's not super super famous uh he's well He's well known enough that fans like him and audiences can really uh, get to know him a lot more. Uh, he has the physique. He has the look. He, like, like I said, I think for this iteration of the DCU Batman, uh, also note, Alan Rickson is very, very good at, at, um, at being comedic. Not saying this DCU Batman will be comedic, but the Batman does have a lot of, dr a lot of dry humor and Rickson can deliver that 
dry humor very very well he does in reacher all the time like he like alan rickson is is hilarious in reacher without being funny <laughs> like he's just like like the little quips he does and the very just like monotone dry humor like it's perfect for for, for reacher and it's perfect for batman um so i think he would make a, a really fine choice to be the dcu batman but we just have to wait and see what james gunn and andy has in store for us so that's gonna be it hit like subscribe follow me on twitter Instagram, discord tiktok this is just is that cheeks let me know in the comments below what do you think and as always truth out get off social media you intel yeah <laughs>